the humility of Christ positioned him for the Father to work through him in signs, wonders, miracles, demonstrating the power of the kingdom. In exactly the same way, Jesus, as the Son of Man, full of the Holy Spirit, walked. We, as men and women, full of the Holy Spirit, are going to walk, and he wants to extend his hand through us to do exactly the same things. Are we willing to take the risk to do it? Or are we going to wait till we get anointed enough? Or are we going to wait? What are we waiting on? We're waiting on something. But we don't really know what we're waiting on. I want to suggest that it's time. That if we will be bold, he'll show up. And even if you don't see the miracle, you've at least loved him. Because after all, that's my job. See, humility is not so that we get a miracle. Humility is so that they feel loved and valued. Because humility releases the love of God to touch them. And then God extends his hand to do the miracle. the, The problem we have is we get this out of order. And we think we're trying to get them healed. And I've heard a lot of people use that vocabulary. And I'm I'm not offended by the vocabulary because I think as a royal priest, I do want to pray command direct prayers. I'm not afraid of that. But we've always got to keep our responsibility in line. 